One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. I don't usually do them this old. This one was special. It's gorgeous. It's all original. It's got, we believe, all the original paint. Um, there's a couple, I'm gonna show you a couple things on it with primer and stuff. Um, primer spots from the original primer. Like just from maybe rubbing on it in the door, getting it in and out, stuff like that. But it's got 15,000 original miles. It's a one owner car. And like, it was a state type thing. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, runs great, drives great. Uh, when we got it, it didn't run great, it didn't drive great. Needed plugs and wires. And, um, we actually put a carburetor on it um, and two water pumps and some miscellaneous hosing and stuff that was just from not being used, sitting around. But I'm gonna go around and do a complete detailed walk around with you. And um, my name's Nathan. 406-546-8748 is for sale. And um, check my website. There'll probably be about 80 pictures of it on there. And um, one owner car guy .com. Subscribe here on YouTube. Get lots of cool stuff. The paint's in great shape. Um, you're going to go around it and find little miscellaneous chips and such. Um, the chrome's in great shape. Um, starting to get a little bit old on the chrome places. Um, the bronzing or what have you is coming through on the parts of the grill. There's a ding right there. This bottom piece needs to be taken off and painted maybe. Um, grill's all pretty much there. Just parts of the center bar are getting mostly to wear. There's a couple little places on the... But now this is all original. And there's some scratches right there. I don't know. That right there looks just a little bumped in. There's a little ding in that thing, I think. Um, bullhorn things or push guards are in good shape. And um, another ding right there. So, this is the one part that's kind of weird. It's getting checking here. Shrinkage. Um, pretty much think it's just from the age of the paint. Because I can't see anywhere where they're painted it. Um, and all the original in places, primer, like here, where the hood might rub. Um, I'll show you a place in the door on the back. But man, this is as original as it gets. The chrome rings on the headlights are looking great. Going down the sides, it's straight. Um, a little scratch, miscellaneous small scratches. I'm gonna have to come back this way. There's more of the original primer. More like rocks probably hitting there. What a little going down the road type things. There's a crease right here. And I don't know if we could take that off and tink it out a little bit or not. Um, little scratch right there um, it's in gorgeous shape um, it's not rusty a little ding little ding and I'll probably show you this again in a different light all oh, this is in very nice shape all the window surrounds and what have you original Ford glass original Ford glass Ford glass cracks in Ford glass um, yeah it's all marked Ford glass I don't know about that side. I'll check. A couple little chips. Bent antenna. Every time I try to straighten one of those, it usually could break. Little tiny dent crease right there. I can barely see it. Um, and there's these little creases. A ding there. A little dingy crease here. And here. I'm confident to say this. That's pretty much, if I missed a tiny ding or something, it's possible, but I don't think so. Some miscellaneous chips. The original old exhaust tip's pretty cool. It's like you could be in grease. Um, little scratches on the bumper. Very straight on the rear bumper. I don't see any dings really. There's some marks on the bull bumper thing or what have you. Um, logo is in good shape. It's just weathered. This side is beautiful. Not a ding in it. Just tiny little four, five, six, seven spots coming up. This one's got little spots starting in. You can feel them on there. So, lenses are in good condition. On the top, it's in great condition. Little chip. Have I said great condition a time or two? Might have. But it is. And a little dingy scrape right there. And. God, it's straight. Straight, clean, shiny paint. 
And I got told on one of my videos that I'm talking too much about that kind of stuff, but if I'm just going around showing it and not talking, I a little scratch there. I'm showing scratches. I'm not talking about the performance features or accessories. A little ding right there. I've never seen that. Maybe had a blowout or something. The weathers, the tires are weathered and checked. For sure. Um, they actually believed at the auction that two of them were original. I'm not sure. Um, a little scratch, a little ding. And see, here's what I was talking about. I'm gonna wait to show you this interior. It's all original. Right there, original um, primer coming through. Okay, I'll show you a little piece. Original seed. It's just hard to see in the sun, so I don't like to give that away without. It's a deluxe. I don't know if it's a custom deluxe. I don't know the exact model, but. And I just seen the Ford mark on the driver's side glass. So, that's your once around. All right, I've got a whole different light going here with the sunset going on. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a once around of it like this, where you can see it at a different lighting. I'll tell you, it looks good both ways. Once again, Nathan 406-546-8748. Gonna show you the interior, and then I will probably wait till morning to do the test drive and clip it in somewhere before here. But that's it, it's a sweet runner, sweet driver, and when you take it to the store, everybody, everybody looks at it, get thumbs up everywhere. It's truly a neat car. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Subscribe, like, and comment here on YouTube. And you know there's one little other mark. I noticed right here. You must have closed something in there. I want to be as upfront as I can. You can tell on the door on the fender wells here. Just all original. Where the paint's chipped off from just having rocks and stuff. A little gravel. Super tight, super clean. Here we go with the interior. This is a treat to see too. Got the little wind brakes or what have you. Look at these seats. This is the original interior. This is war. A couple stains on there. It's older. It's kind of a, the cardboard backing is a little out of shape. Um, this here, the floor was repaired. There was tiny little hole, just tiny little pinholes. What we did is we ground it down and we used this rust mort stuff and we used some of the navel jelly and we put that on it. It was nice before. It's really nice now. All this is fiberglass. There was only, this was a hole, this was a hole, and there was little pinholes like I think one, two, three, four. But this is all done as best as it can be. It's all been taken down. It's nice, solid, ready to go. And we got the right carpet to put over it. Here it is from underneath. We put extra fiberglass underneath it. They were a little pinhole. They were all basically smaller than a pencil. Some about, if it was sharpened, maybe half the size of a pencil. Uh, maybe the size of lead. There you go, like a regular number two lead. The guy could spray there underneath, but the hole underneath is undercoated on this car. Hello. <laughs> I'm showing you this crack here while I'm talking. Hi. What are you saying? You're awesome. You're, you're awesomer. You're awesome. Awesomest. Whoa. You're, op you're op awesomest prime. You're awesomest prime. That's a brand new, um, that's the only thing I know of that's been replaced is that brand new thing there. This dash just looks amazing. Headliner's in great shape. And that's the front. In the back, you got little discolored stuff. And this stuff, a lot of it rubs right off. Um, this is the original hard rubber flowing. Flowing. Flooring. Uh, back seat looks good. Not even, that's a piece of paper. That's an old paper we found in here. There's not a, I don't know, man. Hey, everybody, I look at it. We all think it's got the original 15 on it. It's got all this primer that's showing from just age. Um, pretty sweet. I'm gonna have to get the keys for the trunk here too. Forgot about that. Show you under the hood. Rear package tray. 
got a couple little stains around the windows. But as long as I've had this, I haven't had it leaking on me. And this is not warped. So I'm not sure about that. Um, it hasn't leaked on me, and I've had it for about nine months. Um, okay, front here, just as good. This one isn't eaten out nowhere, but it does have a little patina on the top. Full FOMOCO sticker. Permanent type antifreeze. Antifreeze. Pretty original, man. That dash is just amazingly clean. Looks great. Other than that, let me show you under the hood. Trunk is clean on it. Worst part about anything is it's plastic mat. It's peeling away here. There's a little patina on it down below. Condensation, but it's in good shape. These things have that undercoating stuff on them and all popped up but it's tight and I wouldn't lean on it too much it's just cracked so this could use a new pad but as you see right there this stuff is all undercoated underneath I forgot what they called it back in the day put it on they put it on a lot of Jeeps too even the insulation under here it's shrunken up from age but man that's tight okay that's the trunk see you get that same so it just chips off over time rubs off but I got the hood open. All right, under the hood is clean. And I know we changed cap rotor, plugs, wires, and we put a new, yeah, my screen went out. I don't know if I'm talking. There we go. And I put a new carburetor on it. Um, Rich put a new carburetor on it for us. And um, that's about it. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. Two new water pumps, um, a new, hoses and stuff in here it needed belts anything it needed um this thing runs good it just sits here and goes and i'll do a test drive on it with you next even all the undercoating under the hood is still pretty much there let me show you underneath it while we're sitting here they got a thick undercoating on this thing oh that's the other thing we did we put a um new style starter on it so the newer style starter let me close that the newer style starter, they, um, they're a lot better. <laughs> not to a hundred year old technology or what have you. So, there you go. That's underneath. That's the car. I'm gonna do a test drive on this and I'll say goodbye for now. There's a ding right there too. Different lighting. It sure helps me make sure I show everything. So there we go. Get you a test drive and talk to you in a minute. Okay, I'm going to do the startup a little bit different, and we're going to start it right here from the back. You can't really tell this thing's running, especially from up here. It's right by the tailpipe. This thing purrs like a kitten. Just purrs like a kitten. Okay, we're going to start it from in here. And there's your mileage. 15,436. Yeah, like this dash, there's dust on it from sitting on it, it's so clean. So let's go, we're gonna, I'm doing this different because it's hard to drive a three on the tree while making a video. So we're just gonna clip down the road here and we'll go down the frontage or something maybe. Imagine. Right, so we'll go down the road and then hit the frontage. Sure. Out on the highway in a 51. It's really nice, drives really nice. Putting on the road at 35, I love that old speedometer with the little round gauge. It's hard to talk about things like that if I have to drive and stop. The brakes are good. Shift, yeah, brakes, I think stops like brakes a dream. Whoa. Basically, the car's a good driver, and like, it sure looks nice. And like I said earlier, you can't, ooh, stick it. Rock chuck, rock chuck. Can't even hear it run when you stopped, you go to wondering if it stalled. 
Okay, so back on the road, heading back. Second. And we're not boondogging and going There's fast as we can 35. here. And I mean, this thing will pump down the road. I mean, you're currently running 1200 RPM right now. I'll clip in and end it here. Well, I had to come out and show this thing in the morning the next day just because it's a different light and it kind of hits you with a different kind of brilliance each time. It is a super clean, well maintained car. And that's that. Hope you enjoy. Give me a call anytime, Nathan, 406-546-8748. Subscribe, like, comment here on YouTube for about five videos a week. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneonacarguy.com.